Hey everyone, what's going on? I've been here from AndroidAuthority.com here with my best 2012 apps, the must-have apps 2012 on the Android market. Um, let's take a look at them. Let's get started. I'm in a folder up here. All right, number 10. Uh, it's going to start off with TweetDeck. TweetDeck's pretty awesome for me. Um, it's by far the best Twitter application out there. Um, I'm always on it, tweet for you guys. Uh, I'm never really on Twitter on a computer. I'll be honest with you. It's mainly just uh, just tweet deck for me. You know, you got your tweets right here. You can add a location. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, add a picture. Add a uh, add a contact. All that good stuff. Uh, can search Twitter. You know, do all the things you can do on a site basically. So uh, you gotta love it. Uh, tweet deck number ten. And number nine is going to be Evernote. Evernote's just still number one in the uh, the note department on on the market for me. I mean, it's just it's simple and it's just easy. You know, you got a bunch of things down here. You can add attachments. You can change the font. You can change it to bold. You can underline stuff. You can do a uh, numbered list. Um, all that good stuff it really helps me out when I'm trying to remember what kind of videos I want to do and stuff. It's a really nice app to help me. Uh, following suit. You can also add uh, pictures and stuff into the notes. So, very nice. Um, syncs over the cloud, so that's pretty cool too. Alright, number eight is going to be Score Mobile. Score Mobile is by far my favorite app to get the latest and greatest on the sports news feed. So, I'm a bit big sports guy myself, so I like to follow the NFL, um, NCAA football as well. So, I mean, this Gets me all, all I really want. It's just the score and a little bit of, oops, a little bit of information about what's going on. So, very cool, very fun. Uh, that's Score Mobile. And our number nine, or excuse me, number seven is going to be Zedge. Zedge is just uh, application to get ringtones. Uh, wallpapers and notification sounds very cool they have a ton of stuff I mean a ton of stuff I get basically everything from my wallpapers to ringtones and notification tones from Zedge I used to make my own but I found this application and was like you know this is just a lot easier they had what I wanted um, so I didn't have to make them it's just a lot quicker a lot easier uh, the wallpapers are nice and crisp you know you don't have to go looking on Google or something for a wallpaper put it on and it turns up being really uh, crappy quality so very nice see here there's one all you do is click on it and you just hit download right here and then set it as your wallpaper so there's that and then we're going to go on to number six which is flashlight I know it's kinda of weird to have it on here um, but for me I use it all the time and it didn't come with my phone so I know a lot of HTC phones and stuff out there have have one built in uh, this phone did not come with it so this is a very fun and nice application to have you know you get the regular flashlight which uses the back LED um, you got this little police thing which is kinda weird but cool at the same time I guess you got strobe light you can mess with let's see back here that was pretty nuts. So all that's fun. That's flashlight. Check that out if you haven't. And then number five is gonna be beautiful widgets for me. And actually, I'm not gonna go into the actual app. I'm just gonna show you what they look like. I have it on my home screen right here. You'll see this in most of my videos. Is this clock? Um, you can change it. You can do a skin on it. Oops. So I mean, hit yes. So you can go into uh, clock skins, for example, and these are the ones I currently have downloaded. Uh, you can go over and find ones that um, you have not downloaded that maybe you're looking for or whatnot. Very fun, very cool. You can customize the weather and the the clock skin, as well as the weather widget, which I don't have on the screen. But there's a ton of widgets that come with it. 
So as you can see here, there's 14 widgets in total. Go ahead and go to say there's also a tablet size one four by three. Um, a super clock is a five by two, which I'm guessing is for the Galaxy uh, Note. We can go beautiful weather. We're going to continue. Save apply. I'll just do it real quick, and it looks like that. And you can customize what the sun looks like, what the clouds look like by downloading different themes and skins. So very nice. That's beautiful widgets number four on our list, and we. Dolphin browser. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this stuff. But uh, you know, right here I have uh, some tabs I like to go to. It's Best Buy, um, Google AdSense, my upgrade checker, and YouTube. Um, you can go to anything. We'll just go to Google real quick. But what I really like about this is the gestures are kind of fun to have. I don't have any loaded right now because I just uh, wiped everything in this app. But you can say draw M for bookmark, back, you know, arrow for back, all this kind of cool stuff. Very fun. The the best browser out there for me, I mean, you can set it to be a desktop or um, a mobile phone device, um, internet experience. So it's very fun. Very nice app to have. I love it. And number three, getting down to the bottom here is going to be Widget Locker. Widget lockers are very fun. It lets you customize your lock screen to whatever you want. So, as you can see here, this is what it looks like right now. It's got the time up here. This is you can go into the brightness, you can go into the sound, you can just unlock the device. Um, but you can also do different things. So, you can say you want to remove the this right here. So I'll go ahead and remove that. You go add, you go custom slider, and you can change what it looks like. So let's say we want it to look like, um, let's say the iPhone, I guess. And then we'll configure it to go in a certain spot. So go done. There we go. It's right here. We can remove this, get rid of that. And move the iPhone one down here. There we go. So now we have iPhone looking on lock screen, which wouldn't be my choice, but for some people you might want it. Anyways, um, that was number three. So now we're going to number two, which is Smart Keyboard Pro. This has to be one of the best keyboards ever. I use it all the time. Let's see. I guess I'll just go into a new message. Or keyboard Pro. And you can see the theme it has right now. You can change the themes. There's a million different things you can use for it. Um, it's just one of the best keyboards. I, the autocorrect tool is perfect on it for me, at least. Uh, all the things that you can get for it are pretty awesome. You can get like a Windows Phone 7 theme, you can get the iPhone theme, you can get uh, the HTC theme, the Motorola theme, or just custom ones that are just crazy like black and gray or or black and bright pink or you know whatever you want. So pretty neat. Alright, and the number one for me is going to be Swipe Pad by far. Um, it's just, I think they should have this in every phone. It, it's like the perfect multitasking tool. If you're in Gmail for example, Bam! You go in, Facebook. Bam! Text Manager. Bam! Tweet Deck. Bam! Then back to NFL. Bam! Back to Word Feud. You know, you, you have a set of, of 12 apps you put in here. Um, and once once you have those set, you can change them anytime. You just hold on it. It turns orange. You can choose a different app to put there. Fully customizable. Just very, very awesome app. You gotta love it. So check that one out, guys. Um, the, that's gonna be it. That's number one. Um, don't forget to subscribe, guys. At Vin, or <laughs> excuse me, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at Vin underscore Mobile, and follow the website on Twitter as well at Android Auth. I'll have links for that below. Also, don't forget to. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Maybe you liked the list. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Let me know how I did. Um, you know, keep it locked on on the site. Keep it locked on. 